Uh, good afternoon and welcome. My name is Patricia Smith and I'm the Commissioner of Labor. First of all, I'd like to thank District Attorney Soares, District Attorney McNally, District Attorney Carney, District Attorney Hogan, um, and Assistant District Attorney Casalino. Or oh, did I get District Attorney Murphy? I don't think so. So anyway, <laughs> and I hope I've got everybody. Um, thank them for their efforts for prosecuting these cases. Also, the New York State Police are here represented by Major uh, William Sprague and Captain Stephen James, um, and they were also a great help. We are here today to announce the felony arrests of 33 men and women in the Capital Region and the North Country for stealing almost $117,000 from the Unemployment Insurance Trust Fund. Most, many of these individuals stole the money because they worked while they continued to collect unemployment insurance benefits. And thanks to a new partnership between the Labor Department and the district attorneys and local law enforcement, I'm pleased to announce that justice has been served in these cases. Now, these partnerships would not have been possible without John Dorman and Mike Clark, who are here from the Office of Special Investigations at the Labor Department. They have almost doubled the number of unemployment insurance fraud cases. In 2006, there were about 19,000 cases. In 2007, there were almost 36,000 cases. Since January 2008, $14 million has been identified as fraudulent payments in return to the Unemployment Insurance Trust Fund. In addition, an additional $1 million worth of cases have been referred for criminal prosecution. And these are the criminal prosecutions that we're doing in the capital region and in the North Country. Now the trust fund is set up as a lifeline for people who are unemployed through no fault of their own, who in those hard times have money to pay for groceries, to pay for gas, to pay for their rent. And businesses pay into the unemployment insurance trust fund just to make sure that their employees do have that lifeline. But when individuals steal from the fund, they don't just steal from other individuals who are truly needy, they also steal from the businesses. Let me give you an example. The average employment, the average employer in New York has about 15 employees. And if they have one fraudulent claim which goes undetected, they could expect to have their unemployment insurance taxes rise by about $1,000 the next year. Now the good news is in these cases the fraud has been detected and those employers will not be uh, having to pay increased taxes. You know, last week I was at the One Stop Center in uh, Lower Manhattan announcing that New York is implementing a 13 week period of extended unemployment insurance benefits. And I think that's a significant announcement. Last year in New York State, about 35% of the individuals who collected unemployment insurance benefits exhausted their benefits, meaning they collected their full 26 weeks, and they still had not found another job. In these tough economic times, it is clearly getting harder to find a new job. People are being on unemployment insurance longer. Without this extension, we estimate about 260,000 people would have exhausted their benefits without, find, without finding a new job. And that's about 15,000 people here in the capital region. The unemployment insurance extension is also an economic stimulus, which is going to infuse about $850 million into the New York economy, including $47 million. But with this extension, it becomes all that much more important that we make sure that the trust fund is protected. And that's why we want to send that message to, to, to today, that if you're an individual who's thinking of committing unemployment insurance fraud, we will catch you, we will prosecute you, um, and that so um, don't do it. Um, Anyone with information with, about fraud can um, call the Labor Department's toll-free hotline and make an anonymous report. That's 888-598-2077. And now